Hello, welcome to episode 22 of live.withcode.uk. Um, this week we're going to create a secret Santa Python pro program that will read a list of names in from a file. I've just got six starting with uh, different letters of the alphabet, but you could go for family members or classmates um, or randomly generated stuff. There's loads of web pages which will let you generate a random list of names. Um, and then when you run it, it will hopefully pair up people um, so that they know who to buy a present for and it will export it to a CSV file, um, so a comma separated value file, so value separated by commas, so that if you save and open this file, it will open in something like Excel, a spreadsheet program, so you can export it or mail merge it or do whatever you want with the data. Um, so um, there's quite a lot of logic involved here because we need to make sure every person in our list of names is chosen. Um, and that each person gets a different person. They can't buy a present for themselves, and every person both gives a, a present and receives a present. So let's get started. Um, first of all, we need to open this file. So we'll go open names.txt, uh, and we'll save that into an object called f. Every time you open a file, we should probably close it so we don't lose memory. And then in between opening it and closing it, we can read all of the information. So let's get a list of names. So even though we've closed the file here, we should be able to see the data. Great, so we've read everything from the file, but it's all just one string at the moment and we want to be able to access these separately. So to do that, um, you can do read lines and we get a list of information, but you get those new line constants in and I don't want that. Um, so instead, We'll say read the whole thing and then split it every time you come across that new line constant so that we can just get the data that we're interested in. OK, so next I'd like to have two lists. I'd like to have a list of people who are not down to um, give any presents yet. And a list of people who are not down to receive um, any presents yet. So we don't want anybody to be excluded from either list. Um, and so we want everybody to be in both lists to begin with. Um, so if we test it, hopefully you'll see the same data is in both lists. But if we take this list and remove somebody, let's say we remove Albert. He's not involved in Secret Santa anymore. You can see he's in our original list, but we've taken him out of this one here. But actually, we've also removed him from the original list. Um, as in, we've said, we've showed the list top line before we've removed him. Then we've removed him um, from a different list and displayed the original list. And we've deleted him from the original list as well. That's not what we want. So this is not at the moment creating a copy of the list. It's just linking these new lists to the original one. And we don't want that. We want to have a separate copy of all of the data and we do that like this. This indexing expression just means start at the beginning of the list and keep going to the end of the list, however many there are, um, so we have separate data. So this time here, we've removed Albert from the list of people who haven't given anything, but he's still in our original list and that's what we want. Okay, good. So once we've got all of our names, then um, we can start choosing somebody. So if we go random.shuffle um, and shuffle our list of people who haven't given a present yet, it won't work because Python doesn't know how to do anything random unless we import the random module. So we've shuffled our list. Hopefully that list will now be in a different order each time we run it. It's good. So if we want to choose somebody at random, we can just take the first person from this list. So let's have a look. The gift giver is going to be the first person from this list. So indexing expression zero, that just means the first item. So let's say the gift giver. We should have a different person each time. That's great. Um, and then we should be able to do something similar to choose who's going to get the gift, so that the receiver. Um, but we'll do it slightly differently. We'll say random.choice and choose somebody from um, the other list. So somebody who's not down to receive a present yet. Um, so now we should be able to show our first pair. So we've got the gift giver, 
needs to buy a present for oops, gift receiver. Great, so it works, but you'll see sometimes when you run it, somebody gets themselves and we don't want that to happen. So um, we'll put some extra logic in and we'll say, if the gift giver, the person who's giving the present, is in the list of people that we're gonna choose from to give the list to, then we're gonna do something different. Um, but otherwise, we can just stick with what we did before. Um, so what are we going to do differently um, to avoid somebody giving a present to themselves? Well, let's take the list of people we're going to choose from, remove the gift giver so they can't be chosen, and then plot them back in again once we've chosen somebody. There might be a better way of doing this, but this is what seems to come to mind. So we'll add them back in afterwards. So hopefully, each time we run it now, we shouldn't have um, somebody buying a present for themselves. So that's better. Um, what we can do now is keep repeating this until we run out of people to give presents to. But we can't do that unless we take out of that list um, the gift giver. Um, people not giving anything yet. So we'll take out the person who's now got a, um, someone to give a present to and do the same for um, the list of people who are going to receive a gift. Um, because we've now got somebody new who's going to receive a present. Okay, so um, now all of this code can be repeated for each person in our list. So, oops, let's go up here. Um, and uh, we need a while loop in here. So while the length of, doesn't really matter which list you go for, while the length of either of these lists is more than zero, that means whilst we've still got people left who haven't got anyone to give a present to yet, then all of these indented lines are going to be repeated. So that looks promising. Hopefully we'll have chosen everybody. So A, B, C, D, um, yeah, B and F, good. And we should have everybody receiving a gift. So A, B, C, D, E, and F, good. And we shouldn't ever have somebody giving a present to themselves. That's encouraging, good. Um, so you can test it with your own names, but it would be nice if we can generate this CSV file as well. I'm gonna delete it because we want our code to generate it. Um, okay, so once we've read from a file, we're gonna make a new file. Um, so f, using the same object because we've closed it, doesn't matter if we reuse the variable name, f equals open um, secret santa dot csv. It's just a text file, but all of the values are separated by commas. Um, but this time we want to write, we want to write the file. That's what the w means here. We open it, then we do what we need to do. And then once we've written to the file, we can close it. And then as well as printing to the screen, we want a second type of output, which is gonna be f.write, and we'll write to the file as well. So what do we need to write? We need to say who's giving the present, um, and then a comma to separate the values, and then concatenate, joining on the string, um, the person who's receiving the present. Um, so hopefully, yeah, that works. We've made the file but it's put all of the data in on the same line. We want to add in a new line constant um, so that all of the new records go on separate lines. Um, so f.write, let's just add a new line constant on the end. Um, and there we go, if you save this file and open it up, it should open in Excel and you'll, all have the, you'll have them all in separate cells so you can export, copy and paste, send to family members, um, whatever you like. So there's a couple of challenges to work through. It's quite a complex program, so I'll keep it um, relatively simple. Let's we'll just go for two challenges today. Uh, challenge number one um, is to try um, this with your own list of names. Challenge number two, um, see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen actually. See what happens if you have two people with the same name. Um, I think it's probably going to go horribly wrong, um, but we'll see. So remember, the links on the description of this video, if you're watching on YouTube, um, have some activities that you can work through. The first is to type out this code as fast as you can to build up your confidence and your accuracy with typing. 
The second link is just to this code um, itself so that you can try it with your own list of names. The third link is to a K-Pride activity so that you can um, build up your confidence recognizing different techniques in Python, so spotting variables or spotting built-in functions or um, lists, that type of thing. Um, and then finally, there's an extension activity and um, some keyword challenges um, uh, linked to this topic. So um, all the very best, and I will see you next week.